you've ever had the man you love pull away when you thought everything was going great, then what I'm about to tell you is going to change your life. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You start opening your heart to a man because he tells you he loves you and promises his devotion. He looks deeply into your eyes as he whispers, I've never felt this way about anyone before. The following days or weeks, he can't stop calling and texting you. It's as though he's intoxicated with you and he can't get enough. The smell of your perfume, the way you smile when you enter a room and see him, even the silly things you do that makes him scratch his head. Everything, it seems, turns him on. And then, for no apparent reason, the passion starts to fade away. Hi, I'm Bob Grant, and I'm going to show you exactly why he pulls away and what will make him fall in love with you all over again. Even if you've begged him to tell you what's wrong. Even if he says he doesn't feel as strongly for you as he thinks he should. And even if the only thing he tells you is something is missing. But before I share this with you, I need to go over a few things, because if you miss just one part, it won't work. As a licensed relationship expert, I've worked with thousands of singles and couples, and I've discovered that there are five stages a man goes through emotionally to fall in love. When he pulls away, it's not because you've done something wrong. The truth is that he's blocked at a certain stage of your relationship. Honestly, how could it be something you did wrong when last week your smile drove him crazy with desire and today he's mad if you simply ask him a question? In fact, if you fall into this trap of believing that it's your fault, then you'll apologize, give, and even plead with him to forgive you for something you haven't even done. In fact, that's just what Patrice thought when Martin stopped talking to her one day. In the beginning, Martin had pursued her for weeks. Even though she said no to his text to meet her for drinks, he was a man that knew what he wanted, and she was his target. After she told him she wouldn't date anyone at work, he backed off for two weeks. Then he made his move. At first, it was just a couple of innocent texts. Slowly, his pursuit began to intensify until she finally gave in and said yes. Their first date, he couldn't keep his eyes off of her. Over the next month, he made her feel more special than any man she'd ever met, and the walls around her heart began to melt. Until one day, when he didn't return her text for five hours. When she finally got him on the phone, he was distant and cold. When she asked him what was wrong, he acted annoyed as he said nothing. After ten days of his silent punishment, his mood started to improve and he began to act like nothing was wrong. Maybe something was bothering him at work, she told herself, and she contented herself with that belief until one month later when he pulled away again for no apparent reason. The following week, she came into my office with one question, what am I doing wrong? The sad part is, I'm starting to hear women tell me stories like Patrice's more and more because now, more than ever before in history, men are being tempted by websites and apps that entice them to betray the woman they love. You may be aware of online sites like Ashley Madison. According to public records, Ashley Madison did over $150 million in 2014 by telling men one simple thing, life is short, have an affair. And all they have to do is download the Infidelity app on their phones. Then there's Tinder. Mixer, and virtually hundreds of other similar apps which enables him to download, find, and meet someone for a quick hookup in less than 30 minutes. But the most insidious relationship record of them all is Facebook. I bet you know of at least one couple whose relationship was ruined by a bored boyfriend looking up an old girlfriend. During this vulnerable place, he begins to believe three dangerous myths that make him want to pull away from you, even if everything is going well. Myth number one, he should always feel infatuated with you. But that won't work because just like a new car, the initial jolt of desire must decrease so that a deeper level of intimacy can grow between you. Deep intimacy is possible when a man is vulnerable with a woman, not simply infatuated. Myth number two, if you just give him what he wants, he'll fall deeper in love with you. Unfortunately, what a man tells you he wants is often not what he needs. In fact, most of the time when a man pulls away, he doesn't know what he needs and will instead blame you for his anxious feelings. Myth number three, and the worst thing you've been told is that it's something you've done wrong. I've helped countless women escape this horrible trap. Because he's upset, it feels like he's punishing you, but the truth is he's actually feeling out of control. For years, I've helped women destroy these myths because I saw they pushed women into the feelings freeze. This is when you attempt to save your relationship by holding in your feelings. Because you're afraid if you do or say anything wrong, he'll leave you. If you're a note taker, I highly recommend you pull out a pen and a piece of paper or fire up your note taking app. This is vital for you to understand. When a man pulls away from you, he isn't being logical. He's an emotional freefall, and he's trying to hang on for dear life. What he won't tell you, what he can't tell you, is that what he needs from you to stop his heart from throbbing is your emotion. <laughs> what? I know you've been told not to be so emotional. I know you've listened to Dr. Phil or Oprah or been reading Cosmo and other online articles, but what you've been told is completely wrong. In fact, it is so critical that I'll prove to you right now that your emotions are what men crave. Now, what I'm about to tell you is for adults, so if you're under 18, then you need to leave. Sorry. You've been told that all men want sex, which is mostly true, but not for the reasons you think. 
Imagine an intimate encounter. He caresses your shoulder, then moves his hand down to your waist. All the while his excitement is building, and while his passion is rising, he's listening to you, your responses, the sound of your voice as you squeal with delight. Now imagine if at that moment you said, Okay, I've got ten minutes before I've got to clean the bathroom. Let's get started. In an instant, every ounce of desire evaporates into thin air. Even though he can have sex with you, without your emotions, it means nothing. When he's in an emotional crisis, he can only be free from his torment through your emotions. If you try and logically explain that there is nothing wrong, it will only make him feel worse. The reason I know this is because I have a confession to make. Several of my past girlfriends have been on the receiving end of my silent treatment. I'm not proud of it, and before I got married, I even promised myself not to do that to another woman. And I kept that promise until one stress-filled week when everything came crashing down. On Tuesday evening, my triplet boys all became sick. For the next five nights, my wife and I were lucky to get four hours of sleep a night. That Sunday morning, I was beyond exhausted as I drove my family to church. Halfway there, my nine-year-old daughter began teasing me about how I was driving. Even though I knew she was playing, I felt this overwhelming feeling of darkness and anger come over me, and I couldn't stop. As I parked the car and everyone got out, I just sat there. When my daughter innocently asked me, Daddy, what's wrong? I completely ignored her. As she walked away, I felt a wave of shame wash over me, and yet I felt powerless to snap out of it. In fact, the harder I tried, the darker I felt. When everyone else got out of the car, I just sat there. One hour later, my family returned. My daughter got in the car without saying a word to me. I knew I was overreacting and should say something. I could tell how hurt and lost she felt by me acting like a little boy but something inside of me was frozen. I felt like I was possessed by something that held my heart in its dark clutches. Then my wife did something completely unexpected. As I was about to start the car, she leaned over and whispered something in my ear. And for some odd reason, I felt a bubble pop inside my heart. All the hurt, anger, and frustration started to fade away. I was still upset, but in that moment she calmed all the raging emotions I was feeling. I sat there for a second and just looked at her. Then I got out of the car, opened the door where my daughter sat, and apologized to her. I had overreacted, and for the first time I had been able to escape. I shudder to think how long I would have punished my daughter if my wife hadn't rescued me. I asked her later that day, what did you do? And to be honest, she didn't really know herself. It wasn't simply what she said to me, because she had said those words before, but it was that I felt what she said that penetrated my heart. Four days later, I would realize just how life-changing this discovery was. When Stan and Melissa came for their weekly appointment late Thursday afternoon, they began their familiar pattern almost immediately. She would begin asking questions, and he would sit there in silence, as though she was attacking him. Perhaps it was because of what I had just been through, but in an instant, I knew what Stan was feeling. When Melissa looked at me and threw her hands up in frustration, I told her to try again, and I told her how to say it. But Bob, she said, I've told him that before and nothing changes. Yes, you have, but he'll hear you this time, I said. After she finished, Stan's expression didn't change at all. She looked at me and I said, just give it a second. After a minute of silence, Stan did something that no man ever does in front of the woman they love. A tear began to form in his eyes. He softly said, I'm sorry, I just didn't know what to do. When they left my office, I knew I had stumbled onto the key any woman could use to draw their cold, distant man back to them. I began experimenting with couples over the next two months. I ordered books and talked with other counselors I trusted. After spending months of research and trial and error, I wrote out everything I had learned. Slowly, a pattern began to emerge. When a man becomes distant, it's because he doesn't know what's happened to his passion. This is why he gets upset when you tenderly ask him, Honey, what's wrong? He's scared, and instead of turning to you, often he makes the mistake of assuming something is wrong with your relationship. He cannot go deeper with the woman until he experiences the correct emotional trigger. She literally holds the key to his heart. When she activates that trigger, it makes him feel like a starving bear that's discovered a jar of honey. I began calling it the honey pop method and started giving it to women like Paige when their man wouldn't come to my office. She was ready to file for divorce from her distant husband. She told me she couldn't remember the last time she had felt even an ounce of passion for him. We spent two weeks going over the honeypot method until she got the nerve up to use it on him at a restaurant one evening. At first, nothing happened, which is typical. Then he sheepishly looked down and scooted his chair next to hers. For the rest of dinner, he couldn't keep his hands off her. It got so bad, she finally had to say, Honey, not in public. The following week, she sat down right across from me as she stammered, I, I still can't believe it. Now, since then, I've taught hundreds of women how to use the honeypot to melt a man's heart. In fact, let me give you three tips you can use right now if your man is giving you the stone-cold silent treatment. Tip number one, 
Ask him what's wrong one time. The reason is when a man is upset, he actually wants you to keep asking and asking him what's wrong. He gets the benefit of you worrying and approaching him without doing anything. If there is something specifically wrong, he can tell you. I promise you, he's not a little child. Tip number two, give him his space and just a little bit more. When a man feels you pulling away, it actually makes you more appealing. Even though it may be hard for you to do, he must see that you value your heart above his moods. You won't have to do this often if you do it with conviction just a few times. Tip number three, his doubts are an opportunity for intimacy. When he's scared, he expects you to panic and get him to reassure you. In his mind, you have become weak and desperate. All the mystery is gone. But when he sees that his doubts don't scare you, it creates a feeling of curiosity. The same curiosity he felt when he first met you. Now, I love helping people, but unfortunately, I only have time to work with so many women in my private practice. But I want you to know how to free the man you love from making a horrible mistake and ending your relationship, just like my wife set me free that fateful day. That's why I've taken everything I've learned and used with my clients and put it together in one amazing program. It's called the Bonding Code. Inside, you'll discover the five emotional phases every man must go through to fall deeply in love with you, what phase you're in, and how to use the Bonding Code for each phase. In fact, here's just a taste of what inside. Phase one is interest, and to be honest, this is the easiest part. Just glance through a Victoria's Secret magazine with push-up bras, makeup, and everything frilly, and you'll see how easy it can be to get a man's attention. Here's some signs you have his interest. He looks at you and you're speaking. He talks with your friends. He stands within three feet of you and doesn't move away, which often leads to phase two, an emotional arousal. During this phase, you'll notice him wanting to see you more often. His feelings have been stirred up, but now he's looking at you like a hungry bear and you're the honeypot. But there's a danger ahead, and so many women don't understand this, because what happens after this point is phase three, a period of disillusionment. You'll know you're in this phase when he stops texting you as much, doesn't want to tell you any details about his life, and for no apparent reason, he stops wanting to go out as often. He says nothing is wrong, but you can feel him pulling away. In his mind, something is wrong, and he can't explain it. He remembers the times when his passion for you was so intense he couldn't sleep all night. But now he doesn't feel the strong attraction that he did in the beginning. As his intensity fades, he starts to panic. Soon he begins visiting places on the web that entice him to betray his true love, telling him he should never have any doubts that they have the perfect woman for him if he'll just go to their website or download their app. And unless you know how to handle this phase, often that's just exactly what he'll do. It's easy to panic during this phase, wondering if he still loves you or if he ever loved you enough. But if you know how to respond during this crisis, you'll enter phase four, the testing phase. You're getting close, but just before every calm, there's a bit of a storm. During this phase, he may start getting upset over silly things like you being late when it never seemed to bother him before. Begin making excuses for not wanting to see you more often and express doubts about your relationship. If you make it through this phase, you now enter phase five, the bonding phase. Now, since you're here right now, you're probably not in this phase. So let me tell you about this magical place. In his heart and mind, he is now under your spell and couldn't be more happy. He looks deeply into your eyes when you're speaking, grabs your hand in public for no apparent reason. Your happiness has become what he most desires, and he's miserable when he feels he can't make you happy. Then it happened. He realizes that it is pointless to look for another woman. He's found what he has been searching for his entire life. Now all he wants is to spend the rest of his life with you. How awesome is that? But I offer you this caution. No matter how intense his attraction to you, the man you're with or going to be with desperately needs you to know his bonding code. Because I've worked with countless smart and beautiful women who ignored my warning. Then when their relationship hit phase three, this familiar pattern begins. First, she panics. Next, she shares her feelings with him, all of her feelings, just hoping he'll reassure her of his love and desperately wanting him to explain what is wrong. But he can't. Her attempts actually backfire and only reinforce his fears, like putting gasoline onto a burning fire. Most men don't realize the secret code, and they certainly can't tell you which phase they're in or how to fix it. I don't want you to ever go through this living hell, so I want to make this an absolute no-brainer for you. Since my one-on-one -on -one clients pay me hundreds of dollars for this step-by-step -step system that has changed their lives, I'm sure you'd agree that $197 would be completely fair to know how to create an emotional bond that was unbreakable. In fact, if I gave you a magic wand that created the most intimate connection you've ever experienced with a man, you'd likely give me every last cent you had and feel awesome about it. And I was going to leave it at that low price of $197 until Peggy came to see me. She was recently divorced with two small children, 
They were blonde-haired, blue-eyed little girls that were five and seven years old. Peggy wanted my help because her daughters couldn't stop crying every night. When I asked them what was wrong, the oldest simply said, because Daddy doesn't want to live with us anymore. I paused for a moment as her five-year-old sister began to cry. Then Peggy started crying. For the next 40 minutes, I sat with this broken family just trying to help them put the pieces back together. I wondered what would have happened if I had been able to share the bonding code with Peggy before that fateful day. I realized how desperate the situation was. Every woman was at risk unless I shared what I had created. I needed to get this into every woman's hands, so I called Kaylee, my office manager, and told her to cut the price to $97, even though she debated with me for over 30 minutes claiming I was almost giving it away. The next morning, I went to my office, and still the memory of Peggy and her two daughters haunted me. As I sat in my chair, I could still see the face of that precious five-year-old girl who kept asking me, what did I do wrong? I realized I couldn't compete against the affair industry. Later that day, Callie could tell I was still upset about Peggy and her daughters. To my surprise, she said, Bob, I've been thinking about this. I'm getting flooded with phone calls and emails from women who are telling me about being in a relationship and everything is going great. Then suddenly the man just cuts them off. No explanation. These men are making stupid decisions and leaving the woman they love, all because they're blaming the woman for something she hasn't even done. I know you want to help them all, but you can only see so many clients per week. Why don't you lower the price of the bonding code? You'd have to know my tough as nails manager to realize how profound that moment was. As she looked at me, I knew she was right. So I decided to offer the complete step-by-step -step bonding code program for an additional 50% off. That makes your investment only $49, and you'll start mastering the bonding code this evening. All you need to do is click the Add to Cart button below to claim access to the bonding code, and you'll look back on this moment as one of the best investments you've ever made in yourself and your relationship. And frankly, at this price, you'll kick yourself if you say you'll do it later and come back and find the price is much, much higher. If my clients start complaining about such a steep discount, there's a good chance I may need to raise the price, especially since they pay me hundreds of dollars for these same secrets. So get it now for $49 while you still can. And just to take away every excuse you might have, I want to take all the risks for you because I know how important it is to feel safe and secure. I'm a proud member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating for the past eight years and counting. I've even made sure your purchase is 100% safe and secure by using ClickBank to process your order. And I'm so confident in the bonding code, I'll even let you try it for a full 60 days. That's right. Try it first and see if you don't have a deeper connection with that one special man. Find out how fast you can move through the five phases to team us. If you're unhappy with the bonding code for any reason whatsoever, simply return to this site and contact me for a full refund, and my staff will refund your purchase, no questions asked. Since I'm taking all the risk for you, you can't afford to miss out on the pathway to his heart. Just click the button below, and you'll get the bonding code for the discounted price of just $49. You'll be happy you did. And as I mentioned, I can't guarantee you'll get this price if you come back later. Even though the bonding code will melt your man's heart, I also know that there are some men who have been injured in the past. They are commitment phobic, and sometimes they don't even give a relationship a chance to work. That's why I sought out relationship expert T-Dub Jackson, who specifically works with men that just can't commit. I hounded him until he agreed to tell me how a woman can literally flip a man's commitment switch, even if he's sworn off ever letting a woman get close. I recorded his very detailed plan called the commitment switch. Even though this is worth $49, it's yours absolutely free to keep just for trying the bonding code. I also have another gift for you called Why Men Leave. In this members-only presentation, I'll show you some of the ways women innocently destroy their relationship. If you're not aware of these relationship killers, then you could accidentally trigger his fear of commitment, cause him to misinterpret what you say, and even sow seeds of doubt about his love for you. This currently sells for $49, but I'm giving you this special training. And if that wasn't enough, I'll even include a bonus option of a free 30-day trial to the Women Men Adore Club, where I will work with you and a select group of other smart and successful women so you can ask me your questions about your most pressing relationship needs. With video instruction and access to the members-only forums, I'll be right with you, side-by-side, side, as you apply these life-changing principles. We've already had several members who have gotten married, while others frequently say, wow, this actually works. These bonuses alone are worth over $197, but I'm giving them to you free just for trying the bonding code today. All you have to do is push the Order Now button below. You'll have a chance to review your order before being taken to my 100% secure order page. Simply fill out your details there using a credit card, debit card, or PayPal. In addition, I'll also share with you details about my Platinum Level Enhanced Training. So look for that after you enter your information. So now we're at a crossroads, because only two things can happen from here on out. A, you can ignore this video and stay right in blissful ignorance, content in the belief that as long as a man loves you, he'll never leave you, that he'll never look at Facebook, and the hookup industry won't ever be able to reach him, ever. And if you're willing to take that risk, then so be it. Or you could make the one decision that could change your life.
where you let me take all the risk and try the binding code and discover how to protect your relationship from the billion dollar industry that will ruthlessly try and pull you apart. All you need to do to make this happen is hit the order now button below. Team Us is waiting. Well, if you're still watching this, I bet you have some questions. Here are some of the most common ones I get. Question number one, how quickly will I get the binding code program? It really is almost instant. You'll just fill out your information, and then from there you'll be taken to a download page where you'll be able to download it to your computer or your iPhone or whatever device you're using right now, and you'll get it instantly. Now, if you join the Women Mentor Club, you'll just create an account, and in about three minutes you'll be able to see the secrets we're talking about that will start changing your life with men. Question number two, I'm not in a relationship now. How does the bonding code apply to me, or is it just for those who are in a relationship? That's a great question. If you're single, what you're going to learn is how to do what I call setting the tone. Because if you set the right tone early on in a relationship, or even when you're first meeting a man, you'll actually speed up this process even faster. And one of the ways you're going to do this is you'll learn the right kind of tension, especially in the first three to four months when it's most critical. And even if you're in a relationship, this is going to enhance it. Sometimes it's more difficult depending on how the relationship is. So the good news is, even if you're single, you have a good chance to avoid making the most common mistakes. And if you're in a relationship, and this is going to tell you exactly what phase you're in so that you can just make a few adjustments to get him back on the course that he needs to be on. These are going to be through what I call emotional triggers. So this isn't going to involve a lot of lengthy talks or explanations, and this isn't going to be something to debate him on. This is going to be where you use what I call your feminine power, and I mean that in a good way. With your emotional triggers, he is more inclined to go down the path that is good for him. See, not because he should, but because he wants to, because he feels inspired by you. Question number three. I've read every relationship book out there. How is the bonding code program different? Well, the main idea behind this is that what we're doing is in a proactive way because a lot of relationship advice focuses on communication and trust. And I did this a lot early on. But what I found early on is that even when couples were talking and they said they were listening to each other, I still had men that would leave women. And these were good women, beautiful, kind, smart. After a while, it was just heartbreak. And a lot of these men, while they were communicating with these women, were still ensnared by what I call the affair vultures. But the bonding code does is put a firewall around your relationship. And because you're able to know what phase he's in, you don't have to guess with what needs to be done to get your relationship back on track. Question number five. Bob, this sounds great, but does it really work? So I thought about this question, and I realized, instead of telling you, why don't I just show you instead? 